Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another episode of the Benny the Jet Rodriguez story, the MLB road to the show here on MLB 15, the show. Guys, we are playing again for the Frisco Rough Riders, six and five currently on the year, playing against the Northwest Arkansas Naturals in this one. They're not doing so great at four and seven. Let's see what happens in today's game. Again, still trying to get that promotion up to the triple A level. I don't know how long it's supposed to take but I feel like we're playing well enough that we should definitely be at least the AAA level. I mean, my goodness, we're batting over 500 at this point, leading the league in most of the major batting categories. Still need to work a little bit on the fielding, I'm not going to lie, but we'll see what happens in this one. As we ground out here, oh, do we? No, we're going to get in there for a base hit. The Jet turns on the afterburners and gets over to first base. Not exactly the most conventional way to get to first base, but we'll take it anyways. And we are going to slide in here should have been a stolen base if the dumbass at the plate wouldn't have swung and gave the just the crappiest ground ball ever. But uh, anyway, that's that's totally fine. We should have been in scoring position though, damn it. Next at bat now, 0-0 count, two outs here in the top of the third. Not really a big scoring situation here, but again, the score is 0-0, so we're going to try and put some runs on the board this inning. Got to get things started here as the third batter. And I've been trying to continue to, you know, guess the fastball as much as I can. You guys recommended that in a previous episode. And it has allowed me to hit a few of these more off-speed pitches uh, versus striking out, but I'm still flying out too often. However, when I do guess fastball, good things can definitely happen. shot to deep left field and we take the lead in this one on that home run the jet with yet another home run guys we had a two home run game in our last episode and we're picking up right where we left off in that episode with yet another home run taking the lead in this game a two rbi shot Let's take a look at this thing one more time. Again, we guessed fastball, got the fastball, he laid it over the plate, and we are going to go deep, deep, deep into the porch. A huge home run there for Benny the Jet. Again, we take the lead on that one. It is now the top of the seven. And after we're showing off some power, we've shown off some speed earlier in the game by, by uh, running out that single. I mean, we're really showing all of the tools at the plate. It's just a matter of being able to have some more discipline at the plate as we follow this one off. Um, if we're able to take some more walks, if we're able to play better in the field, I feel like that triple F, triple A call up has to be coming somewhat soon as we're going to hit this one into the left field. Uh, solid contact on that, but really not any power behind it. So it did not go for a home run. Now, two for four here in this game in the top of the ninth, up five to one runner on first base. Two outs right now, 34 pitches for this pitcher. I think it's the same guy that was pitching earlier when I was up uh, with that last line out. But we'll see if we can take advantage of what we saw in that last at-bat. He was throwing a lot of fastballs. Let's see what we can do here on this pitch. And we are going to oh, follow this thing away. I thought for sure when I made contact on that 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 thing was going out of the park. But it looks like it was just a little bit high. So he's been throwing to the outside on both of the first two pitches. And he's going to go outside again. And we're going to swing and miss on this one. So now we're down 1-2 in the count. Have to make sure that we make contact here. We cannot afford the strikeout. And there he is going to throw it away. Kind of a waste pitch there. I don't know what he was doing with that one. Uh, but yeah, definitely throwing to the outside here. So I'm trying to pay attention to the outside a little bit. And as he goes down, I'm really just not able to get on top of it. I was definitely expecting it to go away. So a two for five game here. One run, two RBI, and the home run, obviously. So not the best game that we've had. But hey, home run. We ran out that single. Definitely a decent game, so um, not anything really spectacular happening in the field in that one. Not really much for highlights, but let's see what happens here in this next game against the Corpus Christi Hooks. We're both 7-7 seven and seven here playing at home at Iron Horse Stadium. Definitely got to try and get the W here because this is going to be a competition here as we're trying to make the playoffs here in the AA level if we don't get that call up at some point during the season. And making easy plays like that in the field are definitely going to be things that we have to do to make it to the majors at some point during this season or maybe it'll be next season i'm not exactly sure how long it'll take to be completely honest with you hopefully it's not too long because i don't want to just be playing in the minors but here we go we are going to line this one out here for a single to start this game off looking pretty good so far with no outs here in the first inning and we are going to take off again guys we're actually playing leadoff here for i think one of the first times and we're able to steal second there 
Didn't really do much from there, but again, we did get the stolen base and the single to start this game off. Bottom of the second now. Again, we're back up to bat here with two out. Runner on first. Going to try and hit him home here. We're already down 4-1 to one in this one, so obviously the pitching isn't really coming to play. Oh, man. When that came out, and I guessed that pitch, and then it was outside the strike zone, and I still swung at it. I was like, no! you got to be kidding me! I thought for sure I was going to be able to hold off on that one, but I just couldn't. And you see us there just flailing at one way outside the strike zone. So, yeah, we got to calm down. We have to be able to have better place discipline than that. That is not good. That is extremely embarrassing. And, yeah, so there we go. We are able to hold off on one there. Bringing the count now to two and two. Evening things out. Going to try and make him pitch more here. He's already thrown 42 pitches here in the bottom of the second. And he's going to deliver one. Ugh. Wow, that thing was like floating around like a knuckleball, man. That was very, very difficult to get an eye on. And we do strike out there. Now playing in the field again. And we're going to swing one over here to second base and over to first for the 6-4-3 double play. Pretty, pretty simple. But we are going to need to make plays like that. We have to be consistent with them. We cannot just occasionally do it. When they hit it to us and there's a runner on first, we've got to be able to turn those double plays as often as possible. And there we go. We get that one. So, again, this bat, this pitcher is still up here. 69 pitches already here in the bottom of the fourth. So, we're definitely getting after him, making some hits. It's a 4-3 game right now with a runner on base. And we can definitely take advantage of that if we're able to get a hit here. If we can crush one for a home run like we have been, we'd be able to take the lead on this pitch as he goes to 70 pitches here in the bottom of the fourth. I don't think he's going to last very long in this one, even if he does strike me out again like he did earlier in this game. 2-1 now. We, do, uh, we are still, like I said, making him pitch as many pitches as we can the guy over at first base isn't really much of a threat to steal so i'm not really expecting him to do that and look at that ugly hit we just cannot pick up the ball out of this guy's hand apparently everybody else on the roster can but i have not been able to so far in this game uh as he's throwing that uh whatever that is that triangle pitch that he had that thing i don't know for some reason when he throws it i just cannot get an eye on it but this time we are gonna hit a pop fly out here to center well, i guess left field and uh, the left fielder is going to come up with that one. So, unfortunately, we're not even able to advance the runner on that at bat. Five pitch at bat. Eh, I need to make it more than that. I, I can't be swinging at as many things as I am. Top of the sixth now. A simple ground ball here. And Benny the Jet is going to make the throw over there to first base. Pretty simple. Not too bad. Again, um, you know, we're not really playing spectacular in the field so far. But I'm trying to improve my fielding. I don't know if you guys saw at the end of the last game. That I did if you go back and watch that previous video I did actually use my points in that one to upgrade my fielding so we're not making quite as many errors in the field but man we still cannot pick up this guy's pitches I don't know what's going on normally I don't have that big of a problem with it and apparently all my other players are able to, to pick up on it with you know 87 88 pitches now that means other people are drawing walks getting hits things like that but we're down four to three in this one bottom of the sixth got to try and get a hit here as we ground this one away does go foul that would have been ugly if the catcher made the play on that a little bit earlier, but thankfully he did not. So we're able to take another swing at this one. Again, 0-2 count here, and we are going to get contact on this one. It goes right past the third baseman. That arguably could have gone down as an error, but I think that they ended up actually counting it as a hit. So we are going to be on first base now. Going to try and steal and get into scoring position here to try and tie this game up. And yes, we are in with yet another steal. Now, we did not get around to score, unfortunately. So, bottom of the eighth. Runners on second and third here. We've got to try and be the hero now. It's It's been a few games where I've had the opportunity and I just have not come through. 0-0 zero, zero count here and we get contact on this one. Smacking it out to deep left center field. And that thing is going to go past the center fielder to the wall. It scores both runners who are on base. And we are in there safely for a double. Awesome. We take the lead on that one. The Jet looking good. Coming up in the clutch, baby. That's how we do it. Let's take another look at this one as he just lines it out there. A beautiful hit. Perfectly timed. And now we're going to try and steal third here. Get a good jump on it, but the catcher makes an amazing throw, and we are caught stealing third. Unfortunately, not the best decision to go for that steal, but fortunately, we do walk out with the 4-5 to five victory after that one. We get two RBIs on, those, on that hit that you guys saw, and that was the big difference in this one, so we are going to walk away with the win. We are also the player of the game in this one as well. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Of course, as always, please be sure to subscribe to this channel if you're new. It does greatly help me when you guys hit that thumbs up or if you guys subscribe to the channel. That's really how we grow this thing. If you guys really are enjoying the series, it doesn't get as many views as my Madden series does. So, uh, I mean, that's not necessarily a problem, but I enjoy making it. And the more likes that I get, the more likely I am going to be able to take more time to be able to put these together for you more often. So, thanks again, guys, for all the support. I do appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys again soon.